feeling a bit forgetful these days. Brain scientists say that a few foods just might help feed your head. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now with details of a report you will want to remember. Liz? Hey guys, good afternoon. This report comes from scientists at the Tufts University Neuroscience and Aging Laboratory. They found there's a very delicate balance between what we eat and what we remember and what we call our psychomotor balance, which is athletic skills and coordination and these abilities over time. So we stopped by Madison's at Finley Market today to share what they say are nature's brain foods. Go grocery shopping recently, but forget a few items on the list. You are not alone. So how's your memory these days? Oh, uh, it's not so good. Scientists studying brain patterns found we all at times are a bit forgetful. Not that I needed a study to tell me that as I tried to remember what to say about these mind-mending foods. Researchers at Tufts University s summarized. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's the word I was I, It's good memory, just short. <laughs> Researchers at Tufts University summarized these foods and put them into two categories. The two things we tend to lose as we get old, your psychomotor skills and your memory. Here are the top foods they found will make the biggest difference. Red grapes, purple carrots, and walnuts top the list, along with a few of Leah's favorites. I do, I love avocados. We eat a lot of kale. Um, when they're in season, I love blackberries. Blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries make this list. So do cranberries and cherries. They're all good for brain boosting, and if you want to, you could put them in smoothies the way Matt does, along with... I get spinach often, uh, the arugula, avocados. If those aren't your favorites, you can try... Brussels sprouts, actually. As well as plums, currants, and coffee. Add them all up over time, and hopefully you can go from forgetting something... Every day. ...to, when asked about your memory, remembering to say... It's pretty good. All right, so of course, just in case, we weren't sure if you guys had ever tried purple carrots, have you? No. Okay, so uh, they're a little sweeter. They look like dog treats. Yeah, I wanted to be careful because <laughs> I wanted to make sure I didn't handle them before we got out here. They're nice and chilly. Grab a purple carrot there. All right, all right. And all right. Uh, they're a little sweeter, you'll find, than the traditional kind. They, they taste like carrots? They taste like carrots. They've been around for years and Ooh. years. They haven't been as popular in the United States as some other cultures. I thought originally maybe they were from a root vegetable that they kind of bred together, but they said, no, carrots just grow in these different colors. Hmm. And orange ones caught on before the purple ones did. So now we're we're getting more of what they wow. call the anthocyanin. In that deep purple color like you're wearing, mm -hmm. there's uh, those compounds that in the color go for the brain. And that's They're why delicious. you want yeah, taste like Regular yeah. carrots, don't they? I think they taste. I need the purple. They good. Yeah. They taste even better, I think. Yeah. Delish. And you know, if you have kids that don't do carrots and things like that, try these because they will. You'll find Amazing other ways. That's my mission to get new foods to your kids every week. Feel free to leave them in our office. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs>